Oh, so they do that. They go to play with the children. Tomorrow, I'm going to play. Okay. Go with the children. I'm going to go back to the new one. New one. Oh, I absolutely remember when I first met Aster. I participated in a medical mission to Ethiopia with a group called Wide Horizons for Children in November of 2010. Dirabe, Aster's father, had heard that there were doctors around and he brought Aster in and she took off her scarf. We all looked at one another and we were like, we have to do something. Everyone realized it wasn't something that we could surgically perform there. Myself and Jim Alpers, the anesthesiologist that was on the trip, we each worked our hardest trying to find someone who could perform the surgery. The interesting part of that is we didn't really know what it was until she got here, until she landed and then the next day we got her MR and we saw that it was actually something we could operate on. A tumor of this size literally weighed almost seven pounds. There probably are one or two in the world because it's very rare for this tumor to be allowed to get this size. This tumor would have continued to grow even though it was benign. It would have blocked her arteries to her brain and it would have blocked her airway. It was going to ultimately lead to her demise. <laughs> The initial part was to actually take the tumor out. We had uh, four doctors working on her at the same time. And we were all doing different parts, but we were working together, being able to add into this long case uh, that we did with this young woman. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, how are you there? Okay? It was very satisfying, and, um, and I think everybody felt very positive about it. She's definitely come out of her shell, and the change is phenomenal. She's a normal teenager now. She'll now be able to go to school. She'll be able to integrate with her peers. She'll, she has the possibility of finding a husband. It, her life has just begun. Doctor. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a second. Thank you. Thank you.